Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this is a new location, and I'll explain why in just a second. But next to me here is the BCN 3D Sigma 3D printer on loan from Designbox 3D for a review. I've had this printer for a little bit, and I've produced a few models, and I'm going to give you my first impression. I'm just going to fire off thoughts as they come to my head, so let's see if we can do this. Are you ready? Go. Welcome back. You're in a different location. This isn't my office, this is the spare bedroom. And the reason I'm in the spare bedroom is because this printer. We had to move the printer into the spare bedroom because it's quite, quite noisy. I first took it out of the box and it came out of the box fantastic. It was packed really, really well. And the first use was super easy. The way that you level the build plate is, is an interesting way and it's assisted through the LCD panel. The Sigma itself has two independent extruders and I think you can actually see them moving right there. One does one thing and then the other one does the other thing. And what's interesting is it supposedly helps with stringing and, and keeping the colors from getting contaminated with one another. And I found that to be true with the example models on the SD card, however, in my trials of using the BCN 3D specific version of Kura, I'm, I'm not exactly sure I've got my settings quite right. This machine itself with its independent extruders has an interesting feature where it will wipe the extruders as it parks the extruder for the next one to come out on stage. It has a small piece of rubber that the nozzle passes over and that clears any of the excess filament that is dripped out of the nozzle itself. This piece of rubber sits atop a small bin, and this bin collects any of the filament droppings from the nozzle. Before an extruder is activated, it purges filament through the nozzle to prime itself, and then that nozzle passes back over this piece of rubber in order to get it cleaned off and ready to print the next color. Each extruder is a Bowden-style extruder with the spools fitting inside the machine. The spools fit into a hole in front that feed it back into the, into the machine through a tube and then each of the Bowden motors are back here and those motors then feed the filament through the top. The build plate itself is borosilicate glass and it's held in place with three magnetic connections. The build plate leveling process is not automatic. However, it does give you a lot of help along the way. The power button is right here on the side, the SD card slots on the front, the nice full color touch screen works extremely well, and the power plugs in the back. The machine is metal, but I found it to be fairly lightweight and easy to transport because of the weight. What does impede transportation is where to grab it. You either need to give it a big bear hug or you need to hold this back section for dear life because those are the two ways that I found you can move this printer reliably. There are plastic pieces on either side, so you cannot put any sort of handhold here in order to grip it to move it. So you can't, you can't pick it up box style. You have to pick it up bear hug style, or you have to hold on to its back. So far, my first impressions on this printer are fairly positive. It's a very unique printer in the way it prints, and it does offer a new level of reliability in that you, you really aren't going to contaminate colors or get excess nozzle drippage on the model itself as you're printing. For example, I'm printing this two-color vase, and I don't have a news shield around it, which Cura and Simplify 3D do offer, there's just, there's just no need. I have found that the dripping trays for each extruder do get full, and every once in a while, filament that has been purged from the nozzle will get carried back onto the build plate just because the hot nozzle touches the plastic and it attaches and wants to go along for the ride. This is a very interesting printer and I'm really looking forward to doing the full review. If you have any questions that you want answered in the review, please leave them below in the comments and I'll do my best to address them. You always want to make a good first impression and this printer did it. Thanks for watching. As always, like this video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment down below if you have any further questions. 
That link up there will take you to Patreon where you can pledge a dollar a month to financially help support my channel. That's never required and I will always do this for free as long as I can. However, I do ask that every once in a while you give me a social high five. Speaking of high fives, as always, high five.